crystal. I've loved dolls my whole life. I collect everything from porcelain to cloth, American Girl, neonates, and real care dolls. But my favorite is to collect and make reborn dolls. There's Chloe, Grace, Jeremy, Maya, Yuki, Savannah, Zoe, Haley, Landon, Maisie, and Joshua. It isn't easy keeping up with my collection, but it sure is a lot of fun. Hey guys, today is Put On Purple for Lupus Awareness Day. And um, so I am wearing my purple shirt. It says I wear purple for lupus. I don't know if you can see it properly in the camera. But anyways, um, today I put my Reborn Dolls in purple. So I am going to show you them. I didn't get around to doing my American Girl Dolls, although some of them are already wearing purple from Easter. So I will show you those few who are wearing purple already. Okay, let's start over here. We have Maya. And she's sitting up because her hair's still drying a bit. Actually, it's already dry. I probably could lay her back down. But she's in a cute onesie that has little purple butterflies on it. It's got some purple lace around the sleeves and almost like a little tutu thing there. So she's super cute. I was going to add um, a purple clip in her hair, but I totally forgot. Anyway, over here we have Zoe. And Zoe is in her purple sleeper that has some butterflies down the side. There they are. And she's got a little purple bow. Um, down here we have Yuki and Savannah. And Yuki is in a light purple sleeper with flowers on it. Really cute. And Savannah has, um, she's got a purple romper, but it's sleeveless. And so I put this purple sweater on top that has a matching bonnet and booties. And I didn't put a bow in Yuki's hair either. I totally, I forgot about bows except for Maisie because Maisie rocks the big bows. So Maisie here is in her purple car seat. So she is all about the purple today. And I decided to try this sleeper on her. Um, I've had it for a couple of years, I guess. And I don't think I've ever put it on her. Um, so it is a white sleeper that has purple flowers on it and it also has some light turquoise in there. I don't know if you can see it, but it's um, purple flowers and then it has purple like lacy tool kind of stuff around the collar and it's a side snap and the side snap is outlined with that little tool material all in purple. And there's also some bows, purple bows. And then the feet make it look like little ballerina slippers in purple. So, um, and then I paired it with this huge purple flower bow. And I also meant to change out her earrings because I think I have purple earrings, but I forgot. I'll have to do that later. Um, but yeah, it's cute. It fits her really nicely. It's a zero to three months, but it's, I think it's Little Me brand, which tends to run large. So it actually fits her really nice. Um, however, I don't know if I'm keen with the um, collar. It's kind of bugging me that um, the lace goes up the neck as I feel like with a real baby that would really bother them because it's an itchy material. But that's just me. I mean, it's a doll so we can get away with it, but um, I don't know. It's not one of my favorite sleepers on her. I don't know if I'll end up keeping it, but I just wanted to change it up because for the last couple of years, I've been putting her in a purple dress. It's a pretty dress, but I thought I'd change it up a little. Over here for American Girls, we have Cece Grace is in her purple jacket sort of dress thing. And then we have Najee up here and her little Pioneer set has some purple in it. 
We've got Nenea and her sweater is sort of a purpley color and Kit's top and cardigan are a purple color. In the bedroom here it's going to be crappy lighting because we have that yellow lighting in our bedroom um, whereas the rest of our apartment I installed daylight light bulbs so that colors would come out better on camera but here's Haley and she's in a romper that's got purple up top with a bit of sort of like what do you call this it's not lace but it's frill or I don't know what you would call it and then the bottom part is white and it has um purple and turquoise butterflies on it it's a little bit baggy on her not sure what size it is okay this is koala baby newborn but um it's really it is a little baggy on her but it's cute it's a little cold to have a romper like this but it is supposed to be warming up over the next few days okay so over here are the boys and <laughs> i don't have i usually don't have anything purple for the boys but i did find a plain purple onesie and decided to try it on landon it is a koala baby newborn size and surprisingly it fit him it's a little snug but it did, it did fit him. Um, and you know, because boys can wear purple too, but <laughs> anyways, he's sitting up here in his um, boppy lounger because I fixed up his hair and it's drying. Um, and then I also splashed some water on his shirt, but it's dried up now. Um, I actually think this color looks kind of cute on him. What do you guys think? Him just sitting there with his legs hanging out um, it sort of makes it, 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 I feel like, um, it makes his skin tone look nice. Um, I don't know. And, and also I guess against this, uh, boppy lounger, the color of the boppy lounger itself. Um, I don't know. It brings out something. But anyways, I don't know if he looks like a girl now with the purple on or not. Let me know what you guys think. But I just saw it like I want my boys to be able to participate in the lupus awareness uh, stuff. And I just I don't have anything purple for my boys. But there was this extra onesie and it was too small for Joshua and Noah. So I figured I'd put it on Landon. Um, so, yeah, he's just hanging out there and he looks pretty cute to me right now. Um yeah, his lips always come out brighter on camera than they actually look in person. And in fact, when I put him in this onesie, I felt like um, it actually made his lips look less uh, bright and noticeable, surprisingly. There's something about the color. And finally, we have Grace. She is here and she has a purple shirt that has a big pink butterfly on it. And it also has some little butterflies around and it's got some sparkles and flowers. And it says little, little darling. And I put this big um, purple butterfly bow in her hair. So she's rocking that and she's just got, I just paired it with some black pants and socks. Um, I didn't get Claire changed. I did have one extra romper that I probably could put on her, but I was just sort of focusing on my reborns right now. So that's that. And then here, maybe you guys can see it better in the mirror. It'll, the writing will be backwards, but here is my lupus awareness shirt. I wear purple for lupus awareness. And it comes up more as a blue on camera than purple. I have another shirt with the same thing. It's a smaller, it's a size smaller though, so it's a bit snug on me right now. And it is more of a purple color than this. Um, this was from when I had my um, spread shirt, I think it's called spread shirt t-shirt shop where I sold these lupus awareness shirts as well as, um, what else did I sell? Uh, oh, the, the shirts that say keep calm and play with dolls. Um, 
so yeah so when I was on prednisone and I gained weight I ordered this size up for lupus awareness month and then it came to me and it was a totally different color than my previous shirt I had ordered from them and I was like this looks more blue than purple um, so I thought maybe they made a mistake and I emailed them and they were like, oh no, we've changed our fabrics and whatever. And this is the new color now. And I'm like, well, doesn't look very purple, <laughs> but whatever. <laughs> um, so anyways, that's that story. But, um, I no longer have my spread shirt t-shirt shop. Unfortunately, um, spread shirt changed some things on their website and the shirts that I had on there, I had used their, um, I guess their website software to design the shirts on their website. So like they had a thing where you could go in and you could like select what text, what style of font you wanted. And then you could write what type in whatever text you wanted, which is how I did this font here and then they also had like clip art so that's where I was able to get the butterfly and so I just designed it on their studio thing and saved it and then was able to put it on these shirts and same thing with the um keep calm and play with doll t-shirts uh I used their uh the the crown thing and um typed out the font on it and anyways, I just happened to go there one day because I wanted to order the Keep Calm and Play With Dolls in a sweatshirt for myself. So I had it in like a t-shirt and a sweatshirt. And I think I also wanted it in a tank top. And I went to order it and my shop was not there. And I was like, where the hell is my t-shirt shop? And I guess somehow I overlooked an email they sent out where they were saying that they were going to get rid of the designing software. So any shirts that had been designed with their software were going to be erased from, uh, from their website. And so I was like, crap. So the only way I can use that shop again is to design my own t-shirt design offline. Like, I guess you could use Photoshop or something, but I'm not too familiar with that. I might get Alex to look into helping me design those to get some t-shirts back up because I really liked them and I know a lot of people liked them. Um, so, but for now, no t-shirts, um, no t-shirt shop. But, uh, yeah, I was kind of shocked. I was like, oh no, like I lost all my designs and that was a real bummer. So, um, you basically have to design your t-shirt offline and then upload it to their website and to put on t-shirts. So that's what's happening with that. So anyways, guys, I hope that everyone out there took part today and wore purple for lupus awareness. I'd love to see your babies or you or your family wearing purple. Um, if you missed it today, you still have the rest of May. May is lupus awareness month. I'd love to see it. So if you have made any videos wearing purple, link them in the description of this video. If you follow me on Instagram, it's Life with Crystal, and you have an Instagram account, post uh, your pictures wearing purple on there and tag me in them. I would love to see them. And I hope everyone is staying safe and well. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that bell so you don't miss any new videos and check all the uh, stuff in the description of this video. Visit my Amazon store um, and my Etsy shop. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.